Assalamualaikum everyone. Uh, welcome back to AQIT Solutions. This is Ali Raza, and in today's class, I'm going to discuss about object-oriented programming pillars. In the previous class, we have seen the object-oriented programming concepts, and uh, we have learned what is object-oriented programming. And in today's class, I'm going to discuss about the pillars of object-oriented programming. So, uh, uh, when we are going to study every concept, uh, the, there are some basics. And there are some base uh, through which uh, we build our uh, next structure and we build our whole uh, software development structure. So, because we are studying object oriented programming, so it has some pillars. And pillars are the foundations of anything, right? So, how many pillars we have in object oriented programming? The very first pillar we have is abstraction. I will discuss each and every pillar in detail. The second pillar we have is inheritance. Inheritance. And then the third pillar we have is polymorphism. And the fourth pillar we have is encapsulation. Encapsulation, right? So these are the four basic pillars we have in object-oriented programming. In today's lecture, I'm going to demonstrate about what is abstraction. And then in later classes, we'll discuss the further pillars of object-oriented programming. But the today's agenda is to discuss what is abstraction. Abstraction means getting only essential things and hiding unnecessary details from anything. Abstraction means getting on uh, only essential things and hiding unnecessary details. Let's say, let me give you an example. If you visit to a doctor and you say that you have a problem in your hand, so the doctor will examine only your hand and give you the particular medicine that is related to your hand and the pain that you are having in your hand, uh, you will get only that medicine, right? Uh, if you say that you have a headache, then the doctor will guide you with respect to that headache. Now, the doctor will not tell you uh, you can take the medicine of stomach, you can take the medicine of blood pressure and all that. Instead, doctor will teach you or sorry, tell you about the uh, particular medicine that you uh, wanted to take uh, for, the, for your particular problem that is headache, right? So, you are getting only the essential things and the doctor has more knowledge uh, as per your disease. The doctor can have further knowledge uh, for further diseases but you are getting only that thing that you have asked to the, to the doctor, right? So that's what the case with abstraction. We only receive what we need and we left the extra things, right? Now, uh, let me give you an example with respect to our software, right? Uh, in software, what we do? We call the methods from classes and that method are only with the names, right? So that name is necessary for me. What is in that name? What are the coding lines? How many number of lines? What is the specific code? I don't know, right? So basically, we are only getting those things that are required and that are useful for me for that particular time being. Let's say if we have a class and that class holds five methods. Let's say we have an animal class. Let me give you an example. If we have an animal class and inside that animal class, I have let's say run method and swim method and fly method and scroll method and there are some other methods as well and I am creating an object of fish in my another class so what does a fish can do? a fish can swim but a fish can't fly so fly is not uh, uh, appropriate for this particular time being with the instance of the fish object right so for fish I am only getting swim method and I am not getting fly method because fly is not appropriate for the fish object. This is what abstraction is. I'm getting only the essential thing that is required, that is uh, for the requirement of the particular time being and I'm ignoring all the details. And now the fish the fish object is only taking the swim method, right? So inside swim, what is the code? How many number of, line, uh, number of uh, lines of code we have? Doesn't matter. I'm only calling the name of the method, right? of abstraction is uh, pretty much cleared. If you have understood this concept, then I have a whole playlist on the channel with the name C-sharp and object-oriented programming concepts. Uh, you can find that uh, these particular concepts in uh, Java playlist also and in C-sharp also. So you can try practically uh, within your PC 
by following that particular tutorials. Hope you have understood this abstraction uh, concept. Uh, in the next lectures, we'll going to discuss about inheritance and all other topics. Inshallah. So take care. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.